Okay guys, it's Chris. I'm out here at our new project. It's 7439 Elmwood Avenue. We're looking at the carpentry and general construction scope of work. So this is going to include all the carpentry, painting, uh, and finishing of the house. Uh, you know, drywall, painting, finishing of the house. So uh, let's take a look inside so you can see. Show you the front yard real fast. And so he's got a nice yard and uh, he's a little landscaping, little uh, handrail painting outside, but nothing that's a big deal. Um, that is about it. It's a nice block here, nice area. And uh, now we'll go inside and take a look at that. Okay guys, real quick, we're looking at the uh, exterior door area. You can see, you know, around the edges it needs some some paint uh, scraped and painted. It's you know pretty cracked up. We can't have any chipping paint, obviously. Selling a new house. It's got a window here, outside as well that's capped right by the door. So that looks nice. It has a uh, aluminum storm door on it now. This one, although it's not bad, I probably want to put a new door on this, like a, maybe a full view glass door or something like that, even a security door perhaps. And. Uh, We'll take a look also at the front door. Front door is in very good shape, so really good shape. Maybe if we could just clean it up, dress it up, you know, put a uh, door knocker on it, something like that, to give it a little bit more appeal. Excuse me while I close the door. And come inside the house soon, you'll see that everything is opened up in this house completely. So this house is a big job. I won't say a big job, but a good sized job with a lot of. Uh, a lot of drywall needed so you see the party walls uh, I mean the brick wall here is still in good shape that's still plastered uh, that you could just skim I imagine and uh, take a look around here at what's going on basically the whole house you know for the most part is going to need uh, drywall it's going to need trims and uh, it's going to need doors so basically for this job I have down about four windows or so six doors uh, maybe a rear door but uh, you know, I'll try to go over that stuff uh, when we get to it. Sort of going to go through this house quickly. This uh, job is the scope of work is more or less going to be uh, the entire carpentry, drywall, painting, and finishing part of the job. There's going to be no plumbing, no heating, no electrical. Uh, none of those things will be included. But everything else, interior, exterior, I want included in the contract, and that makes it the easiest for us. You know, it's less people I have to talk to, deal with, etc. So this is. Uh, this is the house. We need some. Uh, the stairs are all in good shape. So you see, look at the closet door there under the stairs, which is good. So this is the living room area. But basically, you know, the whole thing needs to be drywalled. Pretty simple. So once we get the plumbing and the electrical taken care of, roughed in, then we'll uh, bring you in to uh, knock out the drywall paint and the finish. And uh, also, this job is going to include the kitchen and the bathroom. So it's going to be ceramic tile. In the kitchen, ceramic tile floor, so typical air light layout, uh, ceramic tile backsplash, and um, that is pretty much it here on the first floor. Just walk around and give you a little better view. You see, like I said, pretty much everything's opened up. It's you know, pretty uh, simple stuff. Drywall the whole house. And next, I'm gonna go down to the basement and take a look around down there and show you what needs to be done in the rear and in the basement. We'll take a look real fast here. You see, uh, there there is a handrail, but it's very high, and that's not going to be a legitimate handrail. We need a handrail that's, you know, at least 36 inches above the stairs. So, you know, at the bottom there it goes, you know, five feet above the uh, stairs. So we need a a good handrail. Every FHA uh, household with an FHA mortgage needs a handrail for more than three stairs. So right there, we need a uh, handrail. See you in the basement. All right, guys, we're here in the basement, and it's pretty echoey. You can tell uh, there's some uh, parging needed, some basement cement parging needed. Not a whole lot. You know, this house won't kill you. A few bags, <laughs> at least. And uh, we want all that stuff included, basically the whole thing included. So uh, the uh, parging of the, of the cement, anywhere needed. Also the, uh, you know, paint the basement. Uh, there's some older windows here. I think we could probably leave these windows. It seems like there's even storm, you know, like a second panel on the outside, which they seem good. As long as they close tightly, open and close properly, we can keep those um, windows in there. It has a little uh, 
work area, little little uh, work table with a vice and stuff. This um, this can pretty much stay here. It doesn't really offend me. Uh, still, you know, the whole the whole generally the whole house we want to clean it up and make it make it look nicer. So basement stairs. I don't think there's any work with that. And there's a you know the wall separating to the garage here. Maybe a few might be a few spots here and there that need to be closed up, but nothing major in here. And uh, that's about it. You can see the cement back here is pretty good. Somebody already fixed this stuff up. And we'll take a look out at the uh, exterior and the garage. But before we do that, let me back up and take a look at this door. It's got an old, uh, old-fashioned type four four window door that obviously has been broken out. This house probably been broken into. Uh, right there at least and uh, so this door we want to replace put it a solid slab door is fine That's kind of a narrow door. I'm not sure what size maybe like uh, 30 inch or something 30 32 and it's got a uh, old wooden uh, storm door screen door on the outside and uh, Pretty much can uh, get rid of this, you know, no, no reason to keep that And I'll take a walk out back here. You see this nice uh, nice large amount of space driveway here in the back and it does have some concrete which is pretty busted up. Now this part we can discuss if you know if this is your thing and you want to do this you can go ahead and do it. Um, if this is not your thing uh, the heavy concrete work we can uh, possibly sub that out to uh, someone else. One of our concrete guys. So this is the backyard. But here pretty much we want to fix up the fence, paint up the fence. No big deal. Get rid of the weeds, paint up the fence uh, on both sides. Make it look, make it look acceptable. And then if I back up here real quick, you see some more of the house. And you see around the garage, old uh, old green paint. Of course, you know some rotted wood there. We want to address and paint this up. Paint up the I beam. See the steel I beam is exposed. And uh, there's a little bit of pointing in a few places, maybe in the middle here. Let me see if I could zoom. And you see there's a li little bit of pointing. Where is it? Right above this window somewhere right above the door and below the window in the kitchen so you know we just want to clean up the whole house make it appealing um, to uh, potential buyers you see outside here it has some storms um, if we replace these windows which which I want to you know we need to get rid of the storms and probably cap it after that so just gonna kind of go over this job real fast guys it needs a lot of work on this house I'm definitely gonna meet you out here uh, maybe a couple times before we uh, decide on on a price and decide what we're gonna do so let's um, take a look around again there's some cement parging just inside the garage door so it doesn't seem to be tons of it uh, there's definitely some back here so that's pretty much what the job entails clean up that stuff the concrete Back here by the, the soil line. Uh, hopefully everything's good with our soil line, but we're gonna need some concrete by the floor. Again, you know, if the concrete becomes too much for you, we can sub that out to someone else. And there's a few holes in the ceiling in the garage. We want to close up those holes. You know, it's supposed to be uh, sealed. The garage is supposed to be sealed from the house, so we need to uh, close that stuff up and all the little holes that we end up with when we're done. So just take a look around real quick. This is the chicken wire with uh, cement on it type of stuff so not not brain surgery in here and that is really it for the basement and the rear exterior and uh, next we will uh, take a look at the second floor and see what's going on up there okay here we are guys on the second floor at 7439 Elmwood Avenue and you can tell up here more or less the same deal as downstairs. Someone has already done the hard work and demoed the whole house, but just needs to be drywalled, obviously taped and spackled, painted, and all the finish work, all the trim, all the baseboard. We want you know baseboard all around. Obviously trims around all the windows and uh, closet doors, closets with closet rods and shelves. We want everything to be complete, 100% complete. Again, that does not include any plumbing or electrical. Take a quick walk through here. It's a closet in the hallway. About the only thing they didn't demo, the inside of the closet. And a small third bedroom here. You see that you know, both the brick party walls in this house are pretty good shape. Just 
can skim those and clean those up. But basically we need to uh, most likely insulate the ceiling as well. Um, if uh, we can fit that into the uh, budget, that would be a great, a great idea for obvious reasons. Um, take a look in the bedroom three. Basically you see through the whole house from uh, one bedroom. But just take a quick walk around. The floors in here are good. Not gonna need too much work on the floors uh, with the exception of maybe the bathroom. I'll get to that in a second. But obviously we need baseboards throughout. Again, trims throughout, doors throughout. The whole deal, the whole house. And I'll come around here to the bathroom. Now the bathroom, all the plumbing and the tub, vanity, toilet is all taken care of by the plumber. So again, exclude that from uh, your scope of work. I don't need you to do that. That is on the plumber. But uh, one, what I will need done in here is the, uh, we're on a ceramic tile floor. So before that, before we get to that, we're going to figure out why they had to uh, raise up the toilet here. I don't know if it's a flange problem or just a height problem under there, but we need to uh, address that with the plumber first, get the toilet to the right level. Then you can go ahead and tile the floor. The floor is pretty level in here and solid, so there's no real problems with it. You put your uh, cement board and tile. And then uh, the plumber's going to set the tub, and you can, uh, you would, be doing the tiling of the of the uh, shower so the whole shower area usually go about five feet up I don't know uh, how high up this goes but these guys close this in in a really strange way it's kind of raw sheetrock here we if possible we could probably just waste this whole uh, boxed in part right here and uh, you know give the bathroom a, a larger feel and then you can take the tile up to a decent level and make it look normal so looks like the uh, might need some work with the furring strips or you know, space it out properly to get the uh, tile in here. But usually we just do 12 by 12 tiles, the same that we do on the floor. We do pretty much on, on the uh, around the shower. So uh, 99 cents a square at Home Depot, that type of stuff. And uh, just quickly look around the rest of the bathroom. You see the skylight around here is not too bad. It's a little leak damage up here. And uh, basically the rest of it's just raw sheetrock. This is the only part of the house that's sheetrocked. <laughs> the rest of it is completely barren. So, um, And the way they did this sheetrock, you might even want to replace this. So, as you can see here, wonderful craftsman work, craftsmanship. And um, that is essentially it for the bathroom in here. We don't, you know, we don't need to do a whole lot. Essentially just the uh, tile floor and the tile uh, tub surround. And that is it. So come back into the uh, master bedroom here and you can see that you know as I said everything's opened up so it's a pretty simple job pretty self-explanatory um, I think that pretty much wraps up uh, 7439 Elmwood like I said I can't go through it really detailed because it just needs so much work you really need to see it yourself to be able to gauge how much drywall how much trim etc so um, I know for a fact it's four windows six doors and um, a whole lot of drywall and prep work and paint. Okay guys, just to reemphasize here on 7439 Elmwood Avenue, um, I do want everything included in your potential bids as far as the uh, kitchen appliances, kitchen cabinets. You do not have to worry about the kitchen countertop, we take care of that. But everything else on the job I want you to take care of is you know, down to trash. Every item um, is on you, so uh, please keep that in mind when uh, writing up your bids. And you know, get in touch with me for a personal inspection and we can go over the job. Thanks again.